Ah, ah. Okay. Good afternoon, children. Welcome to our cl English class today. Before we will start, let's have an opening prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God, as we all say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we praise and glorify you. We offer you our works, thoughts, and our deeds. Provide us the knowledge that we need. Grant us the love and understanding. Prolong our patience and attentiveness. Help us to become responsible and participative in our daily activities. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So now, children, I am your teacher, Yvonne. I am your English teacher for today. So how are you today? We're fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. Okay, very good. That's good to hear. So class, this time... We will have our classroom loop so, so that our class for today will run smoothly. Be on time, keep yourself muted, and if you're going to answer, you can unmute your microphone. Listen to our discussion, raise your hand if you want to answer, and lastly, have fun and do your best. So are you ready now for our class discussion today? Yes, teacher. Okay, since we're already, our topic for today is all about identify the S form of the verb. Can you tell me what are those six things that you usually do after waking up? Wash our face, teacher. Okay, wash our face. Another one. Drink water, teacher. Okay, very good. Now, who can share to us now their experiences on the things you have done before going to school? Me, Anybody? teacher. Okay, Cheska. In today, teacher, the online class, I wake up at least an hour before the class and take a bath and eat my food and then brush my teeth and comb my hair. Yes, correct. And now, I will show to you a set of pictures in a slideshow. Showing the children preparing themselves before going to school. And then, identify the things that the children do in the picture. In the first picture, the children is... Combing her hair, teacher. Am I right? Yes, very good. The second picture... Yes. In the second picture. Me, teacher. Okay, Christian. Preparing. Okay, very good. And the third picture is? Brushing tea teacher. Brushing tea teacher. Okay, very good. And this time, I have a short paragraph for you to read. Can I ask? Ronaline to read the paragraph.
Ronaline, can I ask you to read the I paragraph, Ronaline? I okay, proceed. It. Anna walks to school every day. She brings her yellow umbrella when she goes to the school. She keeps in she keeps it in her bag. Rain or shine, Anna loves walking to school with her yellow umbrella. Okay. Now, let's answer the following question. Number one, what is being talked about in the selection? About Anna, teacher. Okay, very good, Cheska. Second question, what does Anna do every day according to the selection? Walks teacher. A walks teacher. Yes, walks. Another one. Um, brings her yellow umbrella. Brings. Very good, Christian. Another one. Uh, keeps it in her bag. Uh, yes. And uh, love walking. Loves walking. Okay, thank you so much, Christian. And let's proceed to the next question. How useful is the umbrella to Anna? It protects her from the rain, teacher. Very good, Ronaline. And the next question is, if the time comes we are in a face-to-face -face situation, how do you get to school? Me, teacher, by walking. Very good, Stefan. What else? Riding a jeep, teacher. Right. Uh, yes, teacher. Riding a jeep. Yes. Very good, Ronaldine and Christian. So the last question is: What things do you love to do when going to school? Hang out with my friends. Yes. Very good, Christian. So now I will show again the paragraph. Identify the underlying words in the selection. Walk, bring, keep, loves. What kind of words are being underlined? Action words, teacher. Yes, action words or verbs. Okay. When did action happen according to the selection? Send picture. Yes, very good, Cheska. Okay, the underlined words are verbs in the present form. So here I have another set of sentences. Kindly read Stefan all the sentences. Or anyone can volunteer to read the sentences. Me, teacher. Okay, Christian, proceed. Number one, Anna walks to school every day. Grace, Jane, and Terry walk to school too. Include number two, teacher. Yes. Number two, she brings her yellow umbrella. They bring umbrellas and raincoat too. Okay. Let's go back to the first. Thank you, Christian. Okay, let's go back to the first sentence of number one and number two. Anna walks to school every day. She brings 
her yellow umbrella. If the subject of the sentence is singular, automatically the verbs end with S or ES or the verb is added with S or ES. Let's proceed to the second sentence of number one and number two. Grace, Jane, and Terry walk to school too. They bring umbrellas and raincoats too. If the subject of the sentence is plural, automatically the verb does not end with S. If the subject of the sentence is plural, the verb does not end with S or ES. It takes the base form of the verb and this kind of verb is also called simple form of the verb. Okay, let's proceed. May I ask someone to read the things to remember? Who wants to volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Christian. Things to remember. The present tense of the verb is used to express an action that happens regularly or habitually. Second, time expression like every day, every week, once a month, and yearly shows present tense. Singular subjects and pronouns he, she, or it use the present single form of the verbs. When we, when we talked about singular subject, Minus a minus s, the teacher or r e s added to a verb. Plural subjects takes a base form of the verb when expressing present tense. Okay, thank you so much, Christian. And now I need somebody again to read the phrases. May I call? Or I need some volunteer to read the phrase one. Me, teacher. Okay, Aya. Story tells, sun shines, grandfather opens, sister drinks. So, as you can see in the phrase one, what happens to the verbs here? How do they end? With S, teacher. S, teacher. Okay, very good. They end with S because the thing or person being talked about is singular. So, the verb will end with S. Who wants to volunteer to read the phrase two? Me, teacher. Okay, Ronaldin. Children play. They ride. Animals eat. Birds chirp. Okay. What happens to the verbs here? How do they end? Without S, teacher. Yes, very good. The verbs here don't end with S because the thing or person being talked about is plural. So the verb will agree with the subject and it does not end with S. It will take the base form of the verb. Now I have here another group of sentences. Set A, mother wakes up early in the morning. She washes clothes every day. Set B. Nita and I ride on the bus every day. We go swimming during summer. What is the verb in the first sentence of set A? Again, what is the verb used in the first sentence of set A? It, teacher, what is it again, teacher? 
What is the verb used in the first sentence of step A here? Uh, wake teacher. Very good. How about the second sentence of step A? What is the verb used? Wash a teacher. Wash a teacher. Very good, children. Now, let's proceed to set B. What is the verb used in the first sentence here? Sir. Ride. Ride. Sir. Very good. How about the second sentence of set B? Swimming Go teacher. Go teacher. Go teacher. Go teacher. Go teacher. Go teacher. Go. Correct. Okay, so the verbs like wakes, washes, ride, and go are verbs in the present form. They express actions that happen regularly or habitually. The time expressions like every day, every week, once a month, and yearly show present tense. Singular subjects and pronouns like he, she, or it use the present singular form of the verbs. When we talk about singular subject, s or es is added to a verb. Plural subjects take the base form of the verb when expressing present tense. So now, I have here an activity. At this time, I have an exercise for you to answer through this link. I will send it in a comment section. Wait for a while. Can you access now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Send a heart emoji if you are done. Are you all done? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's proceed. Now, I will group you into two groups. You can choose your own group. Group A and group B. So here's the activity of group A. You can take pictures or you can screenshot. Group B. So, in group B, use the following pictures in a sentence. So, here. And if you are done with your work, choose somebody from your group to report your work. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. We already had our... 
Okay. Let's wait for uh, for the others. Are you all done? Yes, teacher. Okay. Who is the leader in group A? You can Christian Alberan D teacher. But I am okay, the Christian. I but I okay, read Aya. The, read the our answer, teacher. Number okay, one. Aya, the story tell, tells us about kindness and helpfulness. Our answer is tells. Number two, the sun shine, shines brightly today. Our answer is shines. Number three, grandfather open opens his house to those who are in need. Our answer is opens. Number four, birds sit sits on their eggs until they hatch our answer is sit number five my sister drink drinks tea in the morning our answer is drinks that's all teacher okay thank you so much group a and let's proceed to group b who is the leader of group b I know Stephen teacher, but I'm the reporter. Okay. The Jessica. Okay, teacher. The baby sleeps <clears throat> peacefully. Then for the second picture, the child writes a letter to her mother. For the third picture, the children play soccer ball. For the fourth picture, they eat their lunch happily. Thank you so much, Group B, and thank you so much, Cheska. And now, let's evaluate our learnings for today's lesson by clicking this link. I will send it to the comment section. And if you are done, send a thumbs up emoji. Makita ng link. Class, makita ng link? Yes, teacher. Bago pa yes. lang. Okay, sorry for that. My internet is unstable. You can access now. And if you're done, send a thumbs up emoji. Okay, I think 
We are all done. Are we all done, class? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. And now, let's proceed to our assignment. So for your assignment, here are the following action words and use them in, in the sentence. Says, sleeps, loves, computes, and thinks. You can use your assignment, assignment notebook and pass it on our next meeting. So, do you have any questions or clarifications? No, no teacher. 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 Okay, thank you so much for today. I hope you learned something. And now, let's proceed to our closing prayer. Can I have Aya to lead the prayer? Yes, teacher. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God as we all say, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you for making our day fruitful and wonderful. May your powerful eyes watch us and keep us safe. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, class for attending my session for today. That's all and stay safe. Thank you. you. Teacher. Teacher, goodbye, teacher. Goodbye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you.